Uh, let's check the nest. Let's see what the hell's going on here? Oh, there's a hen on the nest. There's a hen on the nest. I'm gonna let it eat. Did you? Oh, yeah. There we go. Well, we got three eggs so far. And these are cold. Maybe she just got on. Maybe she's gonna, gonna lay another one. Got five the other day. Uh, two days ago and four yesterday, I think it was. I don't know if I got some hens laying. You know, about five days a week, uh, they're still on the every other day thing, so I don't... No, I got five eggs in one day, so I know I got five hens laying for sure. And what do we got in here, anything? Seems a little... A lot of times they, uh... When they lay, they all seem to lay on one end or the other, but not always. This Missouri feed, I don't even see it in here, but it's just like nice little round pellets. It's like just a little bit bigger than BBs from BB gun. And like I said, they, they seem to love it. I had uh, experimented. I put a trough of my old local brand pellets in this end, and I put a trough of this on the other end. And they ate about three, three troughs of this, and that other one was still just hardly untouched. So they apparently like the, like the taste of it, or like the smaller size, one or the other. So, yeah, it's all good enough, you know. Just hope that little toe picking outbreak doesn't upset them too much at all, really. I keep a close eye on them, Jesus. Ah, uh, things are just starting to turn green. The lily's coming up. Can't remember what those are. I love this time of year. A little breezy out, but it's mild. I have got to, I've been meaning to do this for a couple of years now, but I've got to Shingle the roofs. There's a nice looking now against it right there. Some beautiful tails on the perfect specimen. You gotta shingle the roofs. I mean not shingle. Strip the old shingles off these old roofs. They're all brittle and all full of lichens and cracks and these five aren't leaking yet. I don't know why. This one isn't either, but that one is. And that's one of my broody coops. I see it on a lot of my other videos. I put that hardware cloth up so the chicks won't come up to the one inch wire. But on the back started to leak. You can see it's leaking on that back shelf. And I gotta, I'm going to put some metal roofing on all of these strip the shingles off and I'm not sure if I'll leave that sheathing on and screw right into it or just strap it and strap it and screw into the strap and it'd make them a lot lighter that way as I do intend to move and so I'll be lugging these pens off on my flatbed trailer within the next couple of years hopefully Hands. Yeah, I gotta trim their beaks. That's a nice little rooster over there. He's a handsome little bastard. As mentioned in another video, these were late hatched birds. Yeah, it's really late in the season. And well, they didn't seem to grow you know, as much as the others. You know, they all fed the same thing, and you know, they're plenty old enough to be bigger than that now, but. At least one of them's laying, and is that rooster is a handsome little sucker. I love the color of them. But if they do go broody, um, they'd make a nice little size hen for some Merns eggs. So, see what happens. All my other hens have gone 
Well, most of my other hens have gone broody right now. I think I got one that hasn't, but I think you need your feet to fill. That's what you're fussing them. Eh, you got a little bit left. But I'll dump it out and refill it. You could use a cleaning pretty soon. I probably, well, I'll see if one of them goes broody. If then it doesn't pretty soon, I'll, I'll clean them out. These mountain quail eggs down cellar into the turner. Be uh, nice here in another. <laughs> Look at those marins in there. That is um, Kevin and Pee Wee. Hollowing out a nice spot in the back corner. <laughs> Seems like they're having fun. I gotta trim that piece of foam rubber off here. Sun ate it up or it curled over. I didn't need that excess waste anyway. That uh, white, I don't know, I guess it's three quarter inch. It's not as rugged as that heavy duty one inch that I got. It sags more and I don't think it's gonna last as long, so. Oh well, what are you gonna do? So anyway, back to work.